In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple blitzing defense. I think it might be the best blitz in Madden, at least for Bunch. It's really good for Bunch. It's also really good against Trip Side in as well, but it's really, really good for Bunch. And uh, showing you how this works out of the Nickel 335 Will. You can find this formation in the Chicago Defensive Playbook. It's one of my favorite formations in this game. You can also find it in Pittsburgh as well. And uh, just going to walk you through a little pressure. I broke this defense down earlier on in the season on my Patreon. And um, this is just one of the many concepts in the ebook, just kind of a preview for you. If you want to get my full Nickel 335 Will defensive ebook, it'll be linked in the description uh, by Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you'll not only get access to that, but you'll get access to all 25 of my Madden strategy guides on offense and defense. You'll also get access to our weekly pro tips and just kind of updates to just kind of keep you abreast of what's going on in the community and just kind of the top, top notch um, you know, tactics and tricks. So if you want to check that out again, that'll be linked in the description. It's only $10 to join the membership and it gets you access to everything, all my eBooks and all my updates. And you could do this blitz out of anything. I actually really like to do it out of cover two man. Um, and the reason why is just because or cover one, but the reason I like this so much out of cover two man is because the man coverage that you get out of cover two is really, really good. So we're just gonna call cover two man here. Now notice that my running back is gonna be manned up here. So literally all we're going to do is we're going to show blitz and we're gonna blitz this guy. That's literally it. And then you can use her this guy right here if you want to. I like to put him kind of right here, if you will. Um, you might need to pinch or shift your D line a little bit inside if you want to or whatever. I mean, just, just for run shoots, like you can kind of sit like right here and shoot the run. Um, that's really all I'm worried about is run shoots. So anyways, you see here, this is basically the setup. And what you'll see is this blitz on the left side will just absolutely fly in against Bunch. It's really good. Now, what makes it so good is the alignment that you get out of this formation. Now, I do want to show you one thing. If I'm in zone and we do this, um, you could do this out of cover three sky pretty easily. If you want to do it out of zone, again, you're just going to use this defender now. You can have this guy up top if you want to. Um, this is also kind of create um, a little bit of a cover, cover one look. You can crash your D-line. Like if you want to crash your D-line to the right, that's fine. Or crash them down. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you a real glitchy tip in just a second. But again, you see this little pressure. It's real simple. And the next thing that I want to show you though, is if I go to cover two, you're going to notice something real quick. You see how this guy moves inside. This makes this defense a lot better against the run. So in a cover two defense, like a Tampa two, you might want to like man this guy up or whatever and then play cover two like this but why i wanted to show this is because let's say they run the ball and i'm using right here i can really shoot this run really easily from the back side so and that'll work for inside zone and base so real simple run shoot out of this formation so you can kind of apply that if you want to if not don't that's fine um but anyways you'll see one other thing here with this so the other thing that i want to show you is if i leave this guy manned up on the running back a lot of times if they block their running back this will still come in because the running backs manned up so you see how he's kind of manned up right there and i'll show you a way to guarantee that it'll come in against the running back in a second but that's just something little that you can do um, another way that you can kind of get the same basic idea is to take this defensive tackle um, and man him up on the running back and then if you want to use or this guy and you'll see this blitz should for the most part still kind of loop in as you can see right there so that actually was a little bit better but the real power concept for this is because of the way that the blitz comes in, if they block their tight end, which is most people's strategy in bunch to pick up pressure, this stacking of the blitz angles is really what makes it so special. It's very similar to something you can do out of some other formations. But anyways, what you'll see here is this is a max, or I think I did block my running back, I'm sorry. And you see it still for the most part comes in. But I wanna show you my, my tight end. If I block my tight end, it really doesn't do a whole lot. So you'll see right here, I'm gonna block my tight end. And again, you don't have to use her the safety. You can use her any of these three guys. Any of these three guys, you can use her. I like to use her the safety just because it makes, I think it just, it's more aggressive of a front. But anyways, you'll see, this is a block tight end. And a lot of times it'll come in. I'll show you how to guarantee it in just a second. But just wanna show you like kind of the raw concept and then we'll expand on it in just a minute. So again, literally just show blitz, blitz that safety. And you literally do nothing else um, if you want to crash your line, you can. Like if you want to crash your line down, um, I think crashing your line down is helpful. 
and so you see right there that time we didn't get picked up so how do you make this come in like no matter what it's actually really simple all you're gonna do is when you show blitz you're gonna blitz um, what I like to do is move this guy in contain or blitz him and then contain so you see that's it and then what you'll see here is if I'm here it doesn't really matter honestly but I'll just run it and you'll see that this contain will be really really good now you do want to be a little careful you don't want to move him in too too much you want to be kind of cautious with this so what I like to do you'll see if I contain and then if I move him in the play art is going to be a little glitched but basically you just want to move him in so he's on the contain and then I like to stand kind of right here and you'll see he gets this real wide rush that is really, 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 really good, especially against Bunch. So if they max protect, so this is a blocked running back and a blocked tight end. And again, you can kind of run it where you get a little bit used to kind of placing him. But basically what will happen, I like to kind of be over here. And what you should see here is this loop blitz will most of the time come in. If he doesn't come in, it's primarily because you probably put him too far inside when you placed him. So that's another reason why I kind of like the organic way to run this, like this right here. Um, you see there's max protect because the safety is always outside enough. The one thing is you don't get a contain necessarily, but I think this is fine as well. So if you just stand over this guard and they max pro and you have the running back manned up, a lot of times this will come in. You see how, su how smooth it really is. Now you can actually turn this into like a two or three man blip. So you can zone... You can zone the back side of this. So, for example, let's say we take this backside defensive end and put him in a three red hook, and then let's spy the nose tackle. You might want to blitz your user just so that you get a better, better rush. But what you'll see is this blitz, for the most part, will still kind of loop in. You might get some crazy stuff like that. But, you know, it's a simple little three man. And then, like I said, it's really good against Bunch because the angle that he's coming in at is such a good angle for bunch and so you can easily kind of do something like this um you know i would blitz my user just to make sure you don't have to blitz your user because you still technically have four guys but you'll see here's max protect bunch and it kind of gets in so real simple blitz let me give you one last little thing that you can do with this that i think is kind of neat so you can actually turn this into a loop blitz all you're gonna do is just contain and you see how he's on the contain ah, I moved him just a little bit too much like this right here so you just kind of like stop him if you will maybe <laughs> just get him outside a little bit so he's on a contain now and a lot of times this contain is pretty crazy too so you see how he just kind of loop, loops in a little bit so those are some concepts that you can utilize out of this defense I think this is fairly decent coverage um, or fairly decent pressure if you look at the bunch if you want to like fix that alignment all you gotta do is manually press that guy so you see here we have really good alignment and then we also have really good pressure because and again we don't even have to move him in if you want to move him in just move him in just like a little bit like you really don't want him you really don't want him like you want him on the contain but you really don't want him like super super inside and against Max Pro, a lot of times that contain will loop around the edge, as you can see right there. So, real simple pressure. Probably my favorite blitz in the game just because it's so simple. And people just don't realize that it's coming. It's kind of a big nickel over G concept, but better. Because this linebacker stacked out here like this, especially on current or next gen, is really, really good for this blitz. You see it loops in every single time. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn this entire defensive ebook, this concept is just the beginning of what you can do from this defense. There's so much that you can do from this defense this year. If you want to learn the entire defensive system, that'll be linked down below. You can get the whole guide by joining the Patreon. And the cool part about being a member is it also gets you access to all of our Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks and all of our weekly pro updates to kind of keep you on top of everything um, that the top level players are doing in the game and how you can and what you can do about it. So thanks for watching. If you want to get the eBook, join the membership. There's a link in the description below.